please rise. Grace, mercy, and peace be to you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. The word of God that I've chosen to share with you this morning is taken from the gospel reading that Pastor Lee just read for you. I share with you today at verse 29. Jesus is speaking and he says, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. This is the word of God before us this morning. Please be seated. Even though there are nearly 8 billion different people in this world, there are some things that we all have in common. For example, we all think that we are great singers in the shower, right? We all think that there are no calories when we eat food on birthdays or on holidays, right? Another one, we all think that there are times when it's good to take a nap. And one more, we all have times in our lives when we feel weary and heavy burdened. It's true, isn't it? There are times in all of our lives when we have stress. There was a young girl who was talking to her mother, and her mother was just really worn out from doing a lot of work. And the little girl said, Mommy, when somebody tells me work to do, I don't listen to them. And then I don't have any work to do. You should try this. Well, it would be great if life worked out that way, but it doesn't, does it? Life is not that simple. All throughout history, people have always had stress in their lives. All throughout history, people have been weary and heavy burdened. There was a doctor who was talking to some young doctors one day, and he was talking to them about fatigue. And he said, fatigue is actually caused by stress. And he said to the young doctors, there is no cure for fatigue. What you need to do is you need to unleash your spirit. If your spirit is weak, well, then you're going to be filled with gloom and with depression, and you'll feel helpless. But if your spirit is strong, then you're going to be able to find happiness and success in your life. So, how do we unleash our spirit? How do we do that? How do we unleash our spirit to find happiness and joy in our lives? Well, there's only one way to do that. And that one way is you have to have Jesus as part of your life. And that leads us right in to the Word of God before us here this morning. Now, think with me a moment. Think about how the average Jew would have heard these words of Jesus today. Now, the average person in Jesus' day, they had the same kinds of troubles that we have. They had financial troubles. They had family issues. And they had health concerns, just like we do. But they also had something else. They had a very legalistic religious system in their day that told them that they could never do enough to please God. And so these people were, were living with guilt and shame and all kinds of stress in their lives. They, they needed help. And that's when Jesus says these words to them today. Jesus says, come to me, all you who are weary and heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. Wow. Jesus promises to give rest. I mean, that's what everyone needs. That's what we need, isn't it? We all need rest from the stress and fatigue in our lives. And it's just not going to be a good night's sleep that can do that. No, it's going to be more than that. True rest. True rest where we can be energized and be at peace is only going to come from Jesus. And so Jesus then added these words. He said, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart. And you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Now, when we think about being yoked, 
to something. We think about animals, don't we? We think about animals being yoked together where they can carry a, a heavier load than they could by themselves, right? Because when the animals are yoked together, they, they share the weight, and then they also walk in step to make it easier to carry something they could never do by themselves. Well, let me share with you today how being yoked to Jesus can help us to carry the heavy loads and the heavy burdens that we have in our lives. First of all, today, being yoked to Jesus gives us the assurance that we're never alone. We're never alone. You know, Jesus as God, he's at every place at every time, right? So Jesus is with us wherever we are. We are actually never all alone, are we? Now, one of the places where we get to really feel the presence of Jesus in our lives is right here in church each week. Because every week when you come here to church, well, one of the reasons you come is because you love the fellowship with one another. You get to see Christian friends regularly. But every week when you come here to church, you feel the presence of Jesus in the songs that we sing, in the, in the words from the Bible that we read, in the prayers that we pray together, in the sacrament of Holy Communion that we share together, you feel the presence of Jesus in your life because Jesus is right here with us. And as we leave the worship service today, we always leave with a benediction, with good words. And as we leave with the benediction, we feel the presence of Jesus going with us all week long. So certainly, whenever we're yoked to Jesus, we are never alone. Secondly, when we're yoked to Jesus, we get strength to be able to handle the burdens in our lives. You know, the Apostle Paul demonstrated this in a really powerful way in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 12. In, in this chapter, we read that Paul had a burden. And Paul prayed to God that he would take the burden away from him. And God answered him by saying, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in your weakness. Well, Paul came to understand that when he was weak, he was strong. He came to understand that Jesus gave him strength through his weaknesses. And that's why Paul says the words, because Jesus is with me, when I am weak, I am strong. And that's the way it is with you and me today. When we are weak, we can become strong too. How? Well, when we feel those burdens in our lives, Jesus is always close by to give us his strength. When we go through the burdens of life, the financial troubles, when we go through the family issues and the, and the health concerns, we know Jesus is close by to give us his strength. And Jesus reminds us, that these burdens we go through on this earth, they're not going to last forever. Because the day is going to come through our trust in Jesus that all these burdens will be gone when we have this perfect eternal life with Jesus in heaven. So you see, the strength of Jesus is always with us. Thirdly today, we learn that when we're yoked to Jesus, we have peace in our lives. Jesus gives us the real peace of knowing that all things are going to work together for our good. Now, Jesus does that in a real special way because he gives us the Holy Spirit of God that lives inside of us. And this Holy Spirit of God is what reminds us of the goodness and the faithfulness of our God. It's the Holy Spirit of God inside of us that can defend us from those feelings of anxiety and helplessness. There was a pastor who visited a man in a heart hospital in New York City. Now, the man had some serious complications from his heart surgery. And so he was scared. He was exhausted. He didn't have any peace at all in his life. Well, the pastor quoted these words from Jesus from the Gospel of John, chapter 14, where Jesus says, My peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. So don't let your hearts be troubled and do not 
be afraid. Well, those words, they hit the man like a spiritual hammer. And he finally realized that if he'd put his trust in Jesus, he could find the peace he was lacking. And that's what he did. He became yoked to Jesus, and he found the peace that he was looking for in his life. The Christian author J. Oswald Sanders once said, peace is not the absence of troubles. No, peace is the presence of God in our lives. Wow, how true that is. When we are yoked to Jesus, that's when we find real peace for our lives. Jesus never said that our lives on this earth are going to be easy. He never said that. In fact, in the Bible, in the Gospel of John chapter 16, Jesus says, in this world, you're going to have trouble. But take heart. I have overcome the world. When you're going through those troubles in your life, when you have those burdens in your life, hear these words of Jesus to you today. Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. When we are yoked to Jesus, we're never going to be all alone. When we're yoked to Jesus, we're going to find strength to get through the daily burdens in our lives. When we're yoked to Jesus, we're going to find the peace that we're looking for, the inner peace of knowing that one day we're going to be in this perfect place with Jesus in heaven. God bless us all with that strength and with that peace every day of our lives. Amen. Let's now stand as we join together in the next song of praise.